In this demonstration, let's look at how to play video on your Android device. So I've created a new project and I've just named it Video Demo and I haven't made any changes to this document. I've only opened up my main Java and my main XML file. So to begin to set this up for my main XML, we want to put on the video view and this is the widget that we'll be able to use to display video. So I'm just going to drag that over onto my screen, onto my activity, and I'm going to change the property of it so that the ID is just video view. And then I'll be able to refer to that ID in my code. And that's all I need to change in my main XML. So next we're going to move into our main Java and we have our standard set up in here with our onCreate and loading the main XML view. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a reference to the video view that is in our main XML file. So I'm going to say this is video view and I'm just going to call it vid for short and that is going to be equal to find view by ID and I can choose my video view and then I need to import in the video view and then I need to cast this to a video view. Okay, so now that we have a reference to that on our activity screen, I'm going to add one of the things that you'll need to do is to have the video either available on your device and I'll also demonstrate how to play a video that is out on the web so we can provide a URI for the location of a video that might be uploaded to your server. So to add a video, I'm going to go into my DDMS, right, and for my emulator, right in my emulator, so if I open up my SD card, I already have some sound files and a graphic file on here. Now I want to add a video. So I'm going to select the SD card folder and the option over here to push a file onto the device. And that will allow me to navigate to where my files are. And that will allow me to navigate to where my files are. And so I have a folder where I've added a video of some skeletons fighting and I'm going to click open. So now I have a skeleton MP4 video file on my SD card. And I'm going to go back into my Java file and now I can reference that file so I can say that in my video view I want the vid I'm going to set video path and you can see here we have a path to something that's on the device or URI so we'll do the URI in a second so uh, set video path and now this is the path to where my video is on my SD card so I'm going to say SD card and it's called skeleton.mp4. So now that we have a reference to where the video file is on the device, we're going to create a media controller. So I'm going to set the media controller and it's going to be a new media controller. And the context is within this class file. And I'm going to import the media controller. And then we can start playing the video, much like we did with sound files. And it's also good form to request focus and that's in case there's other things that are going on on the screen and this would bring it into focus over any other elements that might be taking precedence. Okay so I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it in my emulator. Now a word of warning for the emulator. Video tends not to show up very well. Okay, so you can see how great this looks. Uh, I'm going to flip it to the side because the video would actually want to play better in this format, but uh, you can see that in the emulator, video just does not work well. Uh, testing this on an actual device, the video works great. You can use this just to test to see that you don't have any crashes or any errors in testing it on your emulator, but the only way you're going to really get to see the result of your video is going to be to play it in your actual device. 
So this does work on an actual device. This is getting the video from your local device, in this case the SD card. But I also mentioned that we can also grab the video off of a URL. So what I'm going to do is comment this out. And right after the opening part of our class file, I'm going to specify a URL. OK, so I've created a string constant called movie URL. And this is the URL location of where that skeleton MP4 video file is. So this would be making a reference to something that's online. It's on the web and not on the user's device. So instead of playing the video from a local path, we need to revise this so that it's using a URI. So I'm going to say URI video, and that's URI parse. And we're going to refer to our constant string movie URL. So rather than having a local reference to a video file, we are making a reference out to a video that's on a web server. So we have our video here, but it hasn't been set up to, to run on anything yet. So after we create our controller, we're going to set our video view to use the video from that URI. So set video URI, and the URI is equal to video, right? The video here is referencing our URI video here which is grabbing this URL from our static string up here. Now that we have those in place, we can save and test this in the emulator. And it still doesn't make any difference. We still get a bad video rendition in our emulator. But again, running this on an actual device, it does, if you have internet connection, will go out to the URL and grab the video to play it. So that is an overview of playing a video either locally or from an external URL source.